Hofed, Chapman. And I think Britain's going to be way better than Yankee fans saw him last year. He was coming back from a debilitating injury and still was very effective at times. I think he's going to be really good. You've got Chapman, Britain, Batances, Green. They're still in on Ottavino. If they get Ottavino, it can be one of the best bullpens ever assembled. Now, you might look at the Yankees and say, well, they might be a little short on starting pitching. Let's say they are. With that bullpen, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You still have Tommy Canely. Where does he fit in? There are a lot of pieces. Tarpley, who pitched well last year as a lefty out of the bullpen, where does he fit in? I think it was a great move by the Yankees. And the way it was structured, a lot of contracts, you might see this done with the Machado and Harper deals. It's a three-year deal. At the end of the second year, the Yankees could opt into a fourth year of the contract. Now, if they don't opt into a fourth year, well, the third year stays in place unless then Britain says, I'm opting out. He can become a free agent after two. Right. So both sides have leverage there where if he pitches well for the first two years, the Yankees say, let's give him that fourth year. I love the deal for the Yankees. I thought it was a great deal. And I actually thought that Britain would probably get a closure job somewhere. And I had heard that he wanted to be a closer. With the Yankees, 25 games last year, 1-0, 2.88, 21 strikeouts, 25 innings, 11 walks, and I believe he's better than that. He's going to be better than that. Yeah, I, I, didn't think he was, I didn't think he was awesome when he came here right away. He had awesome moments. Yeah, he did. Yes. He did. But overall, I do agree with you, he can get better. Now, to your statement, and by the way, I agree, they're a playoff team. Why wouldn't they be? But the great, the great bullpen who cares about the rotation, you can't... It's not like Kansas City anymore. Right. I mean, you're going to have to pitch well. You don't want to dig yourself a hole you can't get out of. Mm -hmm. Now, they should be able to slug their way through a lot of games in the regular season, but you want your starting pitching to give you a chance. You don't want to sit there and have all those great arms in the bullpen, and you're, you're down 5-2 in the seventh inning. That's not going to help you. Well, I think the first four pitchers in their rotation are good. I think they're worried about CeCe after he had the heart procedure. And so he's going to get another that. checkout, and they don't know, is he going to be good to go in spring training? He thinks that he will be, but they've got some coverage. you got Luis Sessa, and... You know, Brian Cashman, when he had the conference call last week, said, we might not trade Sonny Gray until we know that CC's okay. That would be a tough, tough ask. I don't know how you keep him After what you said, what you yeah, said. That, you and all of a sudden, he's in Tampa. You can't do that, can you? I get. Uh, I mean, if you're already worried about the guy's head in New York, how's it going to be like he's in New York? And, oh, by the way, everyone in the world knew you were trying to trade him and couldn't. Right. No, I, I think they be... could trade him, but now they're holding on to him as insurance. No, they're going to have to. They're going to have to make some sort of move. You can't have him as part of this rotation. I would think not. I would think not. Maybe Brian's putting that hey, out there. Hey, there's nothing wrong with putting it out there saying, hey, we don't have to trade him. We'll keep him in the rotation. But realistically, I think the best thing to do is to trade him, take whatever offer it is before spring training and move on.